Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video. I'm very confused, as you can see here. I think I'm against an Udim mid. What? I, uh, I think I'm just going to have a free lane. We're playing our first game of Anivia as well. Um, We've got zero games, Darius. Oh, whoa, League of Duo queue. Holy heck. So our bot lane is duo, our top and jungle are duo, I'm the odd one out, and then the enemy bot lane is duo. One trick Jin, one trick Bard, so it's two one tricks duoing together, 2.7. <laughs> um, the Echo has already played 42 games of Echo, which is, well, he's already played 90 games, that is a crazy amount, oh my god. Um, yeah, we're against, what? I don't understand why I'm against an Udyr mid. That's, I guess he's just never going to be mid lane. But, okay. He is a mid lane main. He's got two games of Udyr, one win, one loss. His main is Shaco. Shaco mid, by the way. Oh. And yeah, he plays Udyr mid and he just goes tank. He's a duo queue player. Oh, he's a flex queue player with a group of people. But in solo queue, he's a solo player. What a weird and wacky player. In his last few games, he's gone Brand, Mid. All of these are Mid. Brand, Teemo, Ude, Ash, Shaco. All of them are Mid. Naturally, as you'd probably all guess, uh, I thought I was against an Echo and it would be Ude Jungle, but apparently not. I think I'm just going to have a free lane phase, though, to be fair. I think I'm actually a pretty good pick against the enemy team. Again, I'm not a big fan of Nidalee. Nidalee, I think, kind of sucks. Again, she has to snowball, otherwise she's useless. And for AP melee champions, which, you know, Nidalee is kind of half an AP melee champion, I think it's just better. You weren't ready then, dude? I literally stun it. That worked. Fiesta. Huh. I don't think that was our advantage. And I want to stop the Udyr from basing because I don't want him to have an item advantage. Well, that was weird. I don't think Kaiser should have committed more in, which she did. I think we should have been happy with what we got and then walked away. What's the plan here, Mr. Udyr, then? Like, um, surely I'm just going to kill you basically for free. That does more damage than it should. Yeah, you need to go away, otherwise I am going to probably kill you. Did he flash? I know he ghosted. I don't know if he flashed. Go away. Get out of my lane. The hell is going on, dude? I don't know. Oh yeah, Zoe would be probably good in the one-shot meta, for sure. I am neither the first nor the last. So I've heard I have heard uh Fully Thalidy Yorick is a little bit spicy, and considering he's got First Strike Ignite Yorick, going to guess that is the lethality I've been hearing so much about. So again, I presume majority of this strategy of Udyr is literally be like Katarina, that they don't, this guy is not playing for mid, he's playing to roam, and they basically have a second jungler. That's my guess. Nice kill. That's my guess.
Dude, when I'm level 6, what the hell is this Uday gonna do? Sudir is so pointless. Oh, bad wolf. I didn't get an assist, bruh. Oh. Ah, oh, I can't be bothered. I'm going back mid. Ooh, Sorry, Yorick. Again, you'd think that he'd go ignite. Sorry, a flash against Darius. It just feels like I'm ultimately against a troll. Anybody else get that vibe from this guy? Like, again, he's a Shaco mid main. I think this player just ultimately mains troll picks. And obviously, he climbs with them. You know, he's in the same game as me. But that's look that's again, it looks like this player just climbs by troll picking. Which is weird. Let's soar. Um if, if he enjoys it, but uh yeah <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about this dude <laughs> yeah nidley is snowballing by the way which is exactly what you need no tier yeah i need to, well maybe i should have gone tier but i want again i want to finish rod as quickly as i can but i guess i should also have a tier by now an enemy has been slain. Oh. Oh. I'm going to walk this way now, lads. Thanks. <laughs> They're so useless. <laughs> the zoo dudes just trolled his team just straight up, man. Good flash there, Rooty. <laughs> Doesn't do any damage because he's not a mid laner. Oh, fist me. I'm bit like. I. So many people don't fist me. And it makes me sad. Oh, the Twitch chat. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun with that, to be honest. It's funny as. You're just camping me, eh? Is that Echo Flash? I think it was, right? There ain't no way that he got all the way to mid. Without flashing. Yeah, they're angry because this game's going horrible for them. Maybe you shouldn't play Troll Udyr mid. I'm just saying. Hilariously, and this is the funny thing. I think Udyr mid... Well, I don't think it's ever going to be a good pick, let's be honest. But I have potentially picked one of the best things into it. Like, if it's against the, the standard... Nice weapon team play that. If it's against standard meta right now and it's against an Echo mid or a Fizz, it could do well because it's melee and tanky and does damage. Anivia is just amazing against obviously of Udyr because it's Anivia versus an Udyr. So hilariously, I think we kind of lucked our way. Bro, this Echo is just constantly on me now. 
<laughs> this echo is only ganking mid. You know that whole thing about oh mid laners you don't get camped anymore? Yes you do. Because the echo is really salty and now is only camping me. I don't really have an opinion on Vayne. It's Vayne. Kill him again. Um. Yeah, I'm not really expecting three people mid, but that's a, unfortunately what we're dealing with now. I guess Udi's rage quit mid lane. What a weird game. What do you guys think of this Udi mid pick though? Uh, Twisted Fate, I don't think it's being changed to AP crit, is he? I thought they're just giving them the option of being an AD carry. Oh, Mr. Echo. Oh, Mr. Echo. Oh, let's go, Rel. Really good start. Yeah, screw you, Echo. That's what you get. Camp in me mid. I'm sorry, puppy. I woke her up. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. She's like, Father, be more quiet, please. This is why she doesn't normally sleep with me in the office, because I'm loud. Would you guys report this, Udyr? This is like what I'm, like, in my head, I'm thinking at the moment. Would you report it? Like, if you're in the, if you're on his team, and let's say, like, this was your you know, oh, I'm getting into Diamond 1 game or something, you probably would report it. It's a good theoret theoretical pick. Eh, is it, though? I think it's a, ver a very situational pick. I don't know if I'd call it a strong theoretical pick. I'd call it a situational pick. And blind picking Udyr mid, I don't think is a thing you should do. He blind picked Udyr mid. Think beyond one I think if you blind pick it, I think that's where it's a bit borderline troll. If you... Oh, I make it's a fizz. Okay, I'll play Udyr. Then, okay, well, we got his flash. If, yeah, if it wasn't blind pick, I think it would be arguably, um, it would make more sense. But I guess we just did pick a really good randomly pick into it. Oh, that was a bad wall. This is the first Anivia that I've seen actually do well this whole like so far this season. I've just been seeing them get destroyed by stuff like Echo and stuff. Hey puppy. It's okay, puppy. The energy level is building. Again, like the, the the last few streams, obviously, of getting used to me streaming home alone with Miss Maya. Typically, she sleeps for about five hours when we get home from the dog field. We've been streaming for four hours 40. So we are approaching that five hour mark. So I can feel her energy lo level is building. You haven't seen many Anivias either. True. Oh. Good point. No, Darius isn't AFK, he just can't do anything to a Yorick. Oh, that's changed. <sighs> it's not lethality, though. I thought it's lethality, Yorick. It's not. This is AD, Yorick. Uh, Build-wise, again, just, just to explain, I, I don't think I'd go Malignants. I think it would be... Rod, Seraphs, Leandres, Zonya's, Deathcap. 
And would that be... Wait, Rod... Le Rod, Seraphs, Leandri's, Zonya's, Deathcat, Boots. Yeah, so you basically... And this is kind of the boring thing with Anivia. You don't use any new item. So yeah, you, you don't use any new items on Anivia. And yeah, if I'm snowballing, I'd probably go Deathcap third, not... I'd swap Deathcap and Zonya's, depending how well I'm doing. If I'm doing really good, like this game, it's a pretty free game, I'd probably go Deathcap. Because we're against an Udyr mid that can't do anything. So I may as well go Deathcap. Oops. You guys see that new uh, AI monitor, by the way? Some people were bringing it to my attention. I've been half tempted to make a video about it and to actually see what people think, because it's a really bad idea if they actually go ahead with it, and I think they will. For those that are like, what, what are you talking about? MSI, which, again, MSI is one of the biggest component manufacturers in the world, so they can mass produce stuff easily. Um, again, it'll be cheaper than like a little boutique -y... She's not at the point that I get blue now as well. Oh god, we're only 14 minutes into the game. That ain't bad damage. Everyone kept telling me that Anivia sucks now. She doesn't... Okay, I'm against a new... Uh, again, I want to have my hopes up. I've just got to keep in mind I'm against an Udyr mid. So compared to anything actual mid laner, I'm having the time of my life because I'm not really against anything in mid. But yeah, I keep having people say Anivia sucks. This is my first game of Anivia and she doesn't seem bad. Cheaper row is good for her. Yeah, it's good for her and Cassidy for sure. Um. Oh yeah, sorry. The AI monitor. So, it's an MSI monitor. I think it only comes in thirty-two gigabyte. I think a uh, thirty-two gigabyte. Jesus Christ, does thirty-two inches. So it's a relatively big gaming monitor. Like, you wouldn't really want it for a gaming monitor. It's a bit too big. But anyway, it has technology in the monitor that is independent of your PC. So basically what that means is, like, like an anti-cheat. Like, Vanguard or, you know, BattleEye cannot detect it because it's not in a PC. It's in a monitor. And it's an AI that basically trains itself within your monitor to help you in whatever game you're playing. So in it was it was in um whatever that convention is, the one in Vegas. Whatever that big convention is, CES, yeah, CES. It was in CES and on the stand they were using League of Legends as the example. And but they said it's yeah, League of Legends but it could work for like, FPS games or anything. But the example of League is what happened on the monitor is any time an enemy popped up on the minimap, it focused itself on the minimap, it would put a massive icon on your screen, enemy. Like instantly tell you there's an enemy on that direction because we saw it on the minimap. And because it's locally on a monitor, it's like a, a, an AI chip is on the monitor, not your PC, it's undetectable by anti-cheat. <laughs> And, like, they gave other examples. <laughs> in an FPS game, it obviously could spot people that you can't see, and it could highlight. It could, like, some cheats out there, obviously, like, not complete aimbot cheats, but there are there are cheats out there for FPS games, like in Warzone, that just puts a red border around enemies or a blue border around enemies to make them more vibrant. That's where they are. Your monitor could do that for you. And again, it's undetectable by anti-cheat because it's not in a PC. It's independent chip within the monitor itself. And I'm like, that is not a good idea. And again, if MSI does that and it goes well, then everybody's going to make one, you know? 
Jack, if you want more details, go watch Jack Frag. Well, Linus Tech Tips did a video on it, and Jack Frags did a video on it. Go watch their videos, and it's it's bonkers. It should not exist. <laughs> My damage ain't too bad. It's not like insane, but it ain't too bad. Eh? What did that storm surge off? What the hell? That niddly damage. Okay. <laughs> Who dear? <laughs> He's so weak. He's so... Wait, he killed Nidley? The tower killed Nidley, so Uday got the kill? God's sake. Hey, puppy dog! What a weird game. Gold, yeah, gold reset, eh? I mean, Anivia feels better than I thought she would, but we also have been given a completely free game. So, I'll have to play another game of Anivia that we're not against an Udyr mid. Because I think against, like, a Fizz or something, yeah, it would not be as fun, clearly. But, yeah. The da the, again, if I'm go ignoring how lane phase went, if at 20 minutes in the game, it's very possible I'd have these items. The damage of Anivia, it feels good. We are all connected. It doesn't feel too bad. Hey, pups. Hey, don't nudge me yet. Hey, don't nudge my arm. I know. We're ignoring Infernal. I wonder if you'd want to take... Ah, uh, no, you wouldn't. I was thinking that that new Elixir thing that I'm taking on the Ari build. Would you want that on a Nivea? But again, I never take the support thing. I never take the support tree um, inspiration on a Nivea. So you'd have to take the whole support tree just to get that. Which I don't know if I like. That bard. Really misplayed that. Well, there you go. That was a very, very free game. What a weird one. Udyr mid. I kind of went as I expected it would go for an Udyr mid. Like, I don't... I don't know. But I guess individually we all did quite well anyway. And then he can't do anything against an Anivia. So, yeah... Oh, I can hear him moaning. Um, what well on Nidley, I guess. All right, very nice. Uh, we got Briar, which I already have. All right, we get oh, gain twenty-one, which again is still positive. Emerald and above is t plus minus twenty, so twenty-one is still technically good. But we are starting to even out, even though my win rate is going up. My win rate is going up, and we're getting even out MMR. So we're actually a sixty-eight percent overall win rate right now. So we go 419, 17k damage. So yeah, over 10,000 more damage than the Udyr. Darius was the one that did nothing though. Holy moly. 1-8 Darius, not even 4k damage. They're a Kled main. Ooh, they're tilted, I think. They've lost the last four games. They went 3-9 on Trundle. They did okay. Went 7-5 on Pantheon, but lost. Last game, they went 1-7 and seven on set top lane, and now they went 1-8 and eight on Darius. That's a player that needs to recognize, stop playing. Like, have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Not sponsored. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Pretty free game. Not really sure what the Udyr pick was all about, but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. First game of Nivea, she felt pretty good. But I'd have to play another game not against an Udyr mid to see if it's okay against meta. But uh, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark.
dark regime I know how to unleash eternal power